guy not doing anything. That's cool. Uh, so we're gonna look around with a missile launcher. Hey, buddy. Boom! So the guy explodes. He's dead. But the computers? They're fine. Untouched. I'm like, ah, uh, might be a little close. And he's dead. Computer? Nope. Nope. No good. What else we got? Just nothing really in this room. There's, there's surprisingly little. So I'm like, ah, uh, well, this thing must be the thing. Dad, I'm used to this like stupid trick by now. Just look how many bullets it takes. That's ridiculous. See this guy in the corner here, the doorway. Bit of an issue. Oh boy! Oh no! So that was pretty dumb to pull out the missile launcher while I already had a few shots ready. But whatever. So at this point, I'm just like, well, I might as well just open with it. And this guy's like, I bet I'll get him good, and then, oh no, <laughs> my legs. The Miniman's like, hey, what are you shooting at? Do you mind if I help? Finally gets up and does something. Like, well, I'm not taking any chances with this stupid sniper. Where'd he go? And it turns out, he's trying to sneak through the wall. Just stealth levels that are unprecedented. Sam Fisher took lessons from this guy. And then Benjamin's like, oh, you're throwing grenades? Let me get on that guy. Why? And you can see my arm. And Benjamin is, there we go, out of the way, finally. There's the health dispenser or some other stuff. That should be the last of them. And the last of the bombing runs on our guys, thanks to you. I'm going to order our men back. Yeah, yeah. Don't care. Don't care. This so I'm like, oh, why did I pick up those mines? Because now they get taken away. Thanks, Microsoft! They're so nice about just bleeping into your game, killing the atmosphere, and going, hey, you had an achievement. Feel good. Feel good about that. I'm like, oh, sniper rifle. Mm, yeah, I'll take that. Sounds great. Because I'm sick and tired of the crappy loadout that I had before. So I take the sniper package. Because it's. The sniper rifle earlier was godlike. One shot, one kill, or like three shots. It wasn't it wasn't a significant amount. To the point where, you know, I had to fire like four missiles at somebody. And that's like such a delay between shots. They often miss. And it's like, mm. What did you need, soldier? I'm ready to change the sniper gear. I'll just take care of Alright, mate. That's my Australian grimace. Not great. So, sniper rifle, 10 millimeter pistol, not gonna touch it. <laughs> Why bother? So, like, uh, I guess we're going forward. Seems we went left, we went right. Gotta be straight. So, still explosions. I'm like, I thought we fixed these, but guess not. Killed one of their own or one of ours. Doesn't matter. So, end of the Call of Duty war battle trenches. Um, expecting our mustard gas shipment anytime now. I'm like, is that one of ours? No, yes, it is. He's like, oh, my life sucks, my friend died. And you can't run through the death field. You have to go all the way to the left. I'm like, okay. Getting flashbacks to the bombers, or the, uh, the boomers, excuse me. I'm like, you're not an Amer- oh. You're not much of anything anymore. The one out. I'm like, oh my god, this is so much better. Why didn't I use this? Look at that. Nice, clean shots. You can use it at just about any range. There's no downsides to this. I was like, oh, you were captured, I guess. Pick up the intel, leave him to be. Just keep on keeping on. He's like, oh, we got you. I'm like, oh no, please don't. And I just miss. I'm like, I don't even need to hit you. That's how little I care about you. And then, how did that miss? Okay. More giblets. Gotta love that. And then hollow soldiers and ammo. And I'm up to like 24 shots. It's fantastic. 
Which is actually more ammo than the guy gave me when I asked for the loadout. Which is baffling. I don't understand that. It's like little zeros flying up there, which is really cool. Nice touch. More of these trenches. Oh, the Inferno unit. Just running around on fire. Don't care. And this guy's like, I gotcha. And I'm like, no, you don't. This guy's like, I've got you. I'm gonna snipe you first. And he didn't take a shot. Didn't take one. And he, wow. Where is he looking? Like, okay. Well, if you're gonna stand there, might as well get real close, put this gun to your head, and just, oh, where'd your head go? It's fine. It's fine. More health, more ammo, these missiles, even though at this point I, I can't stand them, because I don't know why you don't get missiles when you go to the dispenser and get more ammo. That's when I'm like, eh, turrets, I don't care. I don't care. And then we got more spider mines, and terrifyingly enough, another inferno guy. Well, get out of my way! And, ooh, he got out of the way. And then you can abuse the health here. Just shoot him. Shoot him. Can't pick up the health while reloading, but... I don't have any bullets I can just eat here. Look at that. They're just firing clip after clip after clip at them. Like, eh, whatever. Okay. Pick it up. Shoot. Dead. Fantastic. I think they intended you to, like, clear it progressively there, instead of just running past them. Because that, that makes it a little easy. It's like, oh, my arms. It's like, oh, ow. That hurt. And then he just fades. Someone else shot him, I guess. It's fine. So at this point, grab some more health, grab some more ammo. What are we looking for? Penguin's like, I wonder if there's people around here. <laughs> Maybe not. Got speeders. Them speeders. No more speeder. Those things are super annoying because you can't see them. So it's more or less you have to rely on your little your bottom left quick scope. A little sort of mini map. It's not much of a map, but I don't know. Oh, compass. That's what it's called. And that was like a leg shot that blew up his arms, and there was a missile, so I'm kind of like, ah, oh, let's go the other way. And there we go. Another one down. So at this point, I'm like getting a little fatigued with all the constant shooting, and I'm like, uh, is there any more left to this? How much more do we got? So, gotta go back for some health and ammo, because pain is real. It's not weakness leaving the body, it's a, it's a real painful thing. So they call it pain. Pain is weakness leaving the body. Like, ugh. there's a lot wrong with that phrase, but I don't really wanna, don't wanna talk about it. Maybe if you're working out, yeah, but if you get, like, I want to see that person go to, um, what is it, like a, like a cancer ward and be like, pain is weakness leaving the body. And he's, and they're like, wow, asshole, thanks. And he's like, sorry, mom. So, yeah. Got bullets, got fire, got beds, we got computers. Having some fun, more decrypted gibberish, extreme priority report to Chinese high command, venerable, previous intelligence false, American power armor, desert, the operation. Like, what? I don't even, I don't, what is this? Don't care. Moving on. Get some more health, even though we already had some. Then, go forward. Go forth. Keep on moving. Gonna keep on going through the trenches. And this guy's like, hey, I bet you like fire. It's like a clown that nobody asked for at a party. It's like, you kids like balloons. They're like, no. 
Go away. It's, it's gotta suck. Like, this guy studied his whole life, and he's like, man, I always wanted to be a clown. I want to make people laugh. And then only to find out that he's the stuff of nightmares, and nobody likes him. Nobody likes him. Oh, fucking missiles in the mouth. Like, it, it, it felt like it hit my face, even though it clearly shot me in the feet. And he's like, man, I better put this missile launcher away and run at you with a knife or my fists or... What was his plan? And he like, better put this on my back and then run at him to punch him in the face to show him my displeasure. What a crazy guy. The crazy, crazy guy. How silly. How bad I see thee. So over here I'm like, oh, I thought you were Chinese, and he was American. And this land of blue and gray, it's hard to tell. I'm just thankful, you know, again, that there's not just brown, maybe a little blue in there. Look at that. It's like they took their color palette that was two colors before, and then just swapped one of them. <laughs> like, we're not adding anything new, we're just... Changing out one for another. I'm like just shooting these guys because I'm like, uh, oh, this is a this is a veritable shooting gallery at this point. It's fine. It's great. Hey, can I get through this window? No. Okay. Whatever. USA, USA. That's a really obnoxious cheer. Like, it's almost always used in the wrong context. Like. Like, there's some fighting game streams that happen sometimes, and they'll be playing, like, some guy from, like, oh, I don't know, the Philippines or something, or from Japan, and the guy on stream from the USA, like, is getting bodied the whole match, and then, like, he does, like, one cool thing, and then the crowd's like, USA, USA, and the guy, the guy from Japan's like, I'm really uncomfortable, could you please stop, and they're like, no, and keep cheering, USA, USA, the guy's like, just, just playing Marvel here. I don't know. Just a little, a little creepy, a little scary. Like, imagine, <laughs> imagine you go to a, a fighting game tournament. Like you're in, I don't know, old Pakistan or something. And then you're there, and everybody's in their burkers and their, you know, their, their head wraps and all that cool stuff. And you're playing, and you're like, man, I'm really doing pretty great. And then all of a sudden, he does like one cool fireball, one Hadouken. And you're like, oh man, I got hit by that. I shouldn't have. And all of a sudden, you're Pakistan! 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 And you're like, what rally did I go to? <laughs> That'd be really uncomfortable. I don't know why we think it's okay, but we do. Apparently. Get some more health, get some more grenades. Uh, look at this just orgy of violence. Look at this. We got fire, we got meaty bits, we got bullets. I don't even. I don't even know what's going on. There's a sniper, he's like, hey, did I miss anything? And then, uh... He's just strafing. He's like, I can dance all day! I can dance all day! He loves it. He just refuses to be shot. I think there's an invisible wall blocking stuff? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore. What is this? Is this even a game? So that's clearly a... Takes off his helmet, dies in the snow, dissolves into nothing. Poetic, really. It's all about, you know, the uh, the struggle we find ourselves in daily and our challenges that we must overcome, but ultimately succumb to. It's poetic. Poetry in motion. And we go into this death room. Uh, what do they do? They're just like chilling by this wall. Whatever. Right in the butthole. Like, oh, my leg. And, oh, no legs for you. There's a turret. Blow it up. Blah, 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 blah. And it refuses to die. Turrets, they don't care. They're like, you're bullets. I eat them up. And then I go in, and I'm like, oh, it's safe. And there's, oh, there's another one. It's like, whatever. We'll just, we'll just blow it up. Or just, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, me, for not picking the pistol and making this like a 40 minute segment of me shooting this damn turret. Boom! 
goes the... Like... Is it not dead yet? Oh, I crippled the hole, whatever that means. How do you cripple a stationary turret? You just break it or you don't. It's very simple. But no, we gotta, we gotta add systems. I'm like, oh, that's a bad thing. Shouldn't step on that. Apparently walking between them is fine. It's whatever. At this point I'm like, eh, a little ammo would be nice. A little health would be nice. What do we have? Let's go on up. Speaking of going up, level ups. Fantastic. So here we are, level 8. Glorious 8. What do we think? Yeah, at this point, I'm like, oh, well, they've been punching with their sniper rifle bullets. That's, um, that's how that works. <laughs> Gandhi got really good at defending himself with his fists when his words didn't matter. And his trademark passive resistance didn't work either. Partial mediation, never gonna have that work because we're always evil, unfortunately. Might as well be more fisty. It's fine. Thanks, Microsoft! There's a nice texture glitch over there. And the switch. Flip it. And then watch as the blue cloud overtakes the land. It's very pretty, very bright. I kind of like it. It's like a little widespread mini nuke. Very cool. Looking around, we see lasers. We see like Doctor Eggman's fucking Robo Fortress, <laughs> ready to go. Got all this nonsense. Got lasers. Got whatever that is on the top. I don't. What is? It? Oh, I was like, I'm gonna shoot that, and then no, uh, no need to. It's fine. It's fine. Got rads though. This dude with his fancy sword tricks goes right through the power armor. You've already lost. Don't throw away your dignity. I tried. I tried to be diplomatic, but the game said no. So, now we just shoot him, I guess. Boom. Did nothing. So I'm like, oh, well that's not working. So, since everyone else is too busy to care, just gonna run around, drop mines, cripple his legs. Well, what do we have left as far as guns go? Got frag grenades, we got a pistol. That's doing next to nothing. I'm at this point, kind of hoping someone else will jump in and take a few shots at him, but apparently everyone else is. Perfectly distracted to not kill their commanding officer, but the other soldiers instead. I don't even... Oh no, the electric. The pain. Catch him up on his own barbed wire, and he's like, oh no. He comes hobbling it. He's so desperate to hurt us. He's like, oh, no, please, please come back. Oh no. No, I'm gonna let me hit you with the sword. Please. Oh my god, again. The same third time! Oh man, he really does not like being shot there. It's like, well, fuck you, I'll just shoot your sword at your end. Bam! Disarmed! It's like, oh, that sucks. So I'm like, alright, let's go, mano a mano. He's like, no, I'm gonna get my sword. I'm like, oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. I just decide to punch him instead. That works out. Let's, let's go. Just shoot you again. I'm trying to have a fair fight. And he pulls out a sword. So, away goes the sword. No. So, I'm busting the, those uh, Oblivion skills out again. Just backpedal, shoot, attack, swing sword, whatever. At this point, I'm just like, alright, let's do it. Come on, buddy. And then I see in my mind, I see the words, finish him! light up and I go inside his body to punch his face. I just kind of wimpily punch him and he goes, oh, yes, I died. Now very, like, effeminate, mm, yes, you killed me. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
sort of pose. And then everybody else is like, okay, I guess we're done. <laughs> so if the battle was going to end when he died, why didn't battle they just kill him? Soldier. Stand down. Uh, simulation over? Am I good? We good to go? You've got an attitude problem, soldier, and this simulation is going to recommend a swift kick in the ass to correct. Administered by the Since simulation itself. Training, <laughs> it's time to report to your commanding officer for your debriefing. Dismiss. Hope you didn't die in the simulator, though. That'd be bad. Jeez. What a terrible feature of a simulator. But it's okay. Oh, I forgot how sad we looked. Good job making it through that simulation. All you have to do now is open the armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as agreed, you get your share. Feel free to take whatever you want. If our records are right, there's plenty for all of us. Excuse, excuse me, sir. We should be able to access the restricted areas now. Let's hope it's been worth all this time. So I'm gonna walk in style. Yeah. You guys owe me in my mocap suit. And I'm overweight, somehow. I wasn't before, but I am now. So I just strip my clothes in front of everybody and just... In, in very Sims-like style, I just change my appearance. And they're like, whoa, huh? How did you... how did you do that? I try to drop a bit more weight. Let's make some guns together. No and behold, we're now lighter. We can move. Yay. Gonna use this terminal, unlock it. Let's see what's inside. This armory. Thanks, I guess. Thanks, I guess. What an asshole, this lady. Thanks, Microsoft. So, like, oh, missile launcher. Hate it, but I'll take it. So, now at this point, they're like, take whatever you need, and I'm like, I. That, in my mind, that means take everything, please. You're the player character. And there's that shock sword that was oh so useful. Just, just take all this. Excuse me, I'm just gonna, just gonna take it all. Missiles, charge packs. You're not gonna need it. I'm the player character. I'm Gandhi. She's like. Good to see you again. Like, oh, good to see you now. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Oh, jeez. Just, people like that are the worst. They're like, oh, I hate you, but now that you've done something nice for me, oh, we're best friends. There we go. So I'm just gonna take more stuff. Just And I'm like, wait, what? So apparently, a war broke out for some reason. Not really sure why, but apparently there was a mutiny here. I. What is. So I'm like, okay, we'll need something to protect against the bullets, so. Power armor, it goes. Then I'm wearing way too much to walk out of here. At this point, I'm afraid for my life because I'm like, oh god, playthrough over. <laughs> Not getting out of this. But for the most part, they seem to be ignoring me, which is nice. Like, everybody just. they just left. So, all I gotta do <laughs> is just get back to the elevator and just, just get out. I'm like, I'm going. Hope nothing bad happens. So this is, I don't know what the hell happened here that caused this, but it's a little much. Better close that door. This isn't happening. It's just, it's mind blowing that these guys are just like, let's kill you for no real reason. Like, oh man, now I gotta get rid of my psych cool stuff. All these extra assault rifles I'll never need. Um, I only have to lose 117 pounds. Good old inventory management mid fight is everybody's favorite thing to do. 
I'm just like, where did all this weight come from? Not like I'm carrying like several sets of power armor. Like, is there anything I want to part with? Not really. I'm like, yeah, missile launcher, you're pretty much useless, so. Adios. Because, <laughs> I mean, even in the simulation, where, I'd like, I don't know, optimal missile launcher usage just wasn't great. The Gauss rifle, eh, it seemed to work sometimes, and didn't work others. I don't know. Didn't have a good feeling about it. So only 250-ish pounds to go. So we say goodbye to a bunch of assault rifles. It's pistols that repair. Good idea. Keep it going. I'm like, flamer? Oh, when am I going to use that? And hint, I'm not. Tenpenny stuff. Alright, now let's go. Adios, mofos! I don't know why they started randomly shooting. So at this point, I'm like, oh crap. So I start bracing because I know there's going to be combat up top. You know, they start shooting for no reason down there. Certainly they've sent the orders. Um, so I'm not looking forward to that. Not at all. I mean, you can still hear the gunshots going. Like, find someone else to bother, local. Jeez. These people are so nice. So still lasers, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, everybody's fine. And we got hostiles, though. Who could it be but a super mutant for me? Let's see. Cyber evil, don't need it. Let's go. I'm like, fuck it. Let's just, just punch him, I guess. Subdue him with my fists. I'm like, oh. That works. A little excited. I'm like, oh, let's take your stuff. Can't take your guns, but your ammo is fine. Nothing on you. Let's see. Gotta keep on going. Brotherhood, no ammo. Okay. You got ammo? Yes, you do. You got plenty of it. Keep on moving. Keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on doing that. You should play DDR if you haven't, listener. Sexy sleepwear. Definitely one of Gandhi's favorite items. Gonna come back for it later. Top tier. Broken. <laughs> I just, I'm just picturing Gandhi now. This this small Indian man in like this sexy lingerie, and he's like, it's just passive resistance. And you're like, oh, oh, let's keep our history in the textbooks. Again, that horrible Indian accent just. Coming to life for your before your very ears. Blech. So, at this point, I don't know what to do. We just fucking slap that cool mask on, go back down into the metro, get out of here. So, now we've uh, officially completed Operation Anchorage by accident. I actually actually did not intend to find it. I just kind of stumbled across it after those raiders were shooting at me earlier. And don't think I forgot about them. They were across the way, they're like, hey, here's the fallout handshake. Bang, bang, shoot, shoot. And apparently my radiation got cured somewhere along the way. That's kind of cool. Not sure why or how, but it did. So back to sad town. I'm like, oh, nothing down there. The like, hey, how's it going? And there's Gollum. Hi, Gollum. Ominous lights. Got our potion machine is broken. Going back around. Oh, nope, that's not this is where we hid initially <laughs> from those uh, raiders. Just gonna walk up, walk out, and look around. And uh, obviously, at this point, nowhere to really run. So I'm like, okay, let's just subdue them with the fists. I look, oh, oh god, I look terrifying. Yeah, screw this. Okay, so I'm like, good, a victory. Fine, they're gonna leave me alone. Perfect. That's all we really needed. Solve the combat, no one had to die. 
So at this point, it's like, mm, what do we do? Look for Dad, I guess. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Dad, are you under that car? Or are you inside the Raider base? Are you part of the organs strewn all over that wall? No. Okay. Gonna keep looking. Let's look at this mofo. Like, hey, I'm gonna shoot you. Like, will you stop? Will you stop now? Will you stop? So punch it one more time. I'm like, okay, just subduing. Oh. Uh, uh, um. Innocence lost. You know, it's amazing because I think in Elder Scrolls games, if you if you punch, they lose their stamina and they collapse for a while. But in the Fallout, they just their heads explode off. It's it's unfortunate. So we're just gonna pretend that we're just beating them into submission without murdering them. A little hard to pretend when his head just explodes right there. But, you know, it's whatever. And, uh, I get it. Just suplex him. At this point, um, no holds are barred. Clearly, we gotta have some sort of combat ability because there's just too many bullets coming at me. Not enough stim packs coming in. Not enough diplomacy possible where I can just kind of go, we're not going to shoot today. It's just not an option. So, at this point, Gandhi has taken a dark turn. Darker than blowing up an entire city and killing a bunch of people inside of a hotel. No. Punching people is the new low. So we're going to go to Grey Ditch. Because I feel like now I stand a chance against these ants to help this poor kid out. So... Gonna go find the kid, I guess? No. Check inside the house. Yeah. Because I think this crashed before. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Now I remember. Uh, check on the scientists. See what's up. Why did you do this? Did you do this? Maybe you can help. We'll see. Well, this could be the fifth time I've forgotten the code to my desktop terminal. I really must learn to be more organized. The password for my terminal is Formicidae. How hard could that be for me to remember? Note to self, destroy this holotape as soon as move to new lab is complete. So, the, the fucking Futurama scientist is who we're dealing with here. Except not as cool. He's really not as, not as cool as the kind of Futurama. I can't remember his name at the moment, and uh, but that's okay. So we're gonna we're gonna where did I go so wrong? That's a complete failure. Return to my original formulas, begin a new process. Um is basically they fucked up. It's something. Don't know what it is. But we can probably guess. Sample location discovered. Found the perfect specimen for my experiments inside Marigold Station. So that's probably where he's at. Yeah. Not Realize the dangers of playing God. A scientist playing God? Oh, wow, what an original plot line. Uh, but it's okay. If it's done well, it's fine, but it's not exactly done well, so. So there's stuff. There's things. There's a bed. More importantly, Great Ditch. Look at this ant. I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna die. So, time for some punching. Snap! Break! Kerpunch! Another, um, Oblivion skill here is the good old circle strafe. Oh, man. Just punching all these ants to death is its own reward. This fire ant worker is like, oh no! Wow. Jeez. A good old friend, the heartbeat, coming back again. Fuck that heartbeat. It's just like, hey, hey, did you know you're dying? Did you know you're dying? Here's an annoying, annoying thing. It's not as bad as in Legend of Zelda when you get to one heart, and it's like this, like, constant, super loud beeping, like, oh, it's too much. So we're gonna go back to Marigold, armed with our new fists of Indian justice, and see if we can't do anything about the ants inside. That's the plan. That's the plan. We'll see if it works out. 
Going inside, we see... And, big surprise there. Dead. Making sure. Just making sure it's dead. So let's see. Gone through these turnstiles. Didn't have to pay. It's a nice change of pace. See an ant inside. Hey buddy, how's it going? Kick. Good old dog killing kick. This ant's a bit tougher than that dog, apparently. He's so confused. He's like, I can't even keep up. Sting like a butterfly. That's what he's doing. I'm stinging like a bee, of course. Or like a, I don't know, like a yellow jacket. Like, is that a type of wasp? I don't know. Whoa! Sick air combos. So that one, that one got juggled up into the air and then smashed into bits. It's beautiful. It was fantastic. Kids, if you're gonna kill giant ants, make sure to do it with sick air combos. It was amazing. Man, this punching works really well. Much better than any of the guns we've been using so far. Look at that. Boom! I feel like Mr. T or something like, I pity the fool. Just, just wrecking face. Face wrecking. I came in like a wrecking ball. I, just Gandhi in, in the wrecking ball. Like riding a wrecking ball around with this bald head and sad face. And like, I came in like a wrecking ball. And he's like flying through breaking walls and. Ooh, 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 and that skimpy ass, no clothing. I think it's. I, I want to see some art of that actually. That'd be great. Gandhi is Miley Cyrus. Maybe. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave that alone. <laughs> Alright, so this fire ant, getting the kicks of, of pain. Punch. Yeah! Getting hype. Alright, we're like, uh, is there something over this way? Maybe? More ants. Surprise! And he knocked himself down somehow. Just beating up his, beating up his butt. What are you gonna do about it? This is basically Dark Souls. Punch. Don't need your stuff. What do we got? We got tools. Nothing. Excuse me. No tools whatsoever. It's fine. Got a fire ant soldier. He's like, oh, I'm on these stairs. You'll never know how to beat me. And then I'm like, yeah, well, not even that tough. He's so confused. Look at him. Ooh. Ooh. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> Poor guy. Alright. And here we go. We got another ant. Surprise! It's Fire Ant Warrior. Such a proud, majestic creature. Just getting kicked, stomped in by Gandhi. <laughs> Ugh. I woke up this morning and said, man, I want to fight for the queen. What am I fighting? Oh, punching? Wasn't prepared for this. It may be able to lift a skyscraper with its, like, relative strength. Because, like, a regular ant can lift a leaf, which is, like, 50 times its size or something. So these ants should be able to lift skyscrapers. Maybe, like, a short, small skyscraper, like, six floors. But they could do it. And then he's just getting punched to death. Phil, you You've startled me. I'm a stereotypical really nerd, but that's okay. That. Uh, what the hell are you doing down here? That's what I would love to say. I just crap my pants. Wow. So, uh, sorry, I didn't expect to bump anyone. That is precisely why this is the ideal place for my. God, that nasal you voice is so high. About in a delicately balanced, delicately and balanced and highly sensitive. Area. Yeah, Oof. So, like, let me, like, if I pinch my nose, experiments. What do you? No, not even. No. My no. experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh wait, 
I'm a scientist. Oh, wow. God, this guy. Like, I don't even know what to... Oh. Like, is he just... Does he not realize, like, at all what he's doing? Does... So, that was pretty easy to understand, but you don't get the option to go, Oh, I get that. Well, let me see. Well, you start with a generation of very large ants. Like, like big. You simply inject the current brood's eggs with an engineered mutagen. Then the next generation should be smaller. Should. Key keyword there. Times, keyword. And you may be able to reduce them back to their once original tiny size. Uh, that's, uh, news for you. That ain't working. So what? what well, what's been wrong? I'm afraid I made slight miscalculations in the mutagen. Instead of lowering their size, the brood hatched with a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis, the ability to emit flame from their body. Yeah, that's kind of noticeable. This era, but but I can't get near my equipment. Oh no! So I just need to get rid of them right now. It's not right? That simple. The mutagen has already been injected into the ant queen. She has enough in her body to last for years. My problem right now is I can't reach my terminal to make the proper adjustments and repair the damage I've caused. So... what do you need? My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. Important. So... <sighs> Oh no! How? The queen mustn't be harmed. So he fled of work would be and hard. went to his Your old lab. What I call her quintet of and then daughter. they just kept breeding, and he couldn't get back. I guess. Is that how that works? That must have been the story. No, so now he's like, nice "Oh, well, let me I've let me fix this, please." Even though everyone's dead and they're not coming back Once from that, and now we've got a new orphan. Will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. Well, it's a shame I've kind of already so killed them, so. What do you say? So, we're gonna take the noble if it'll stop the ants from burning the already burned down Great Itch. Careful, my friend. Yep. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. D. Okay. So we gotta go now. So optional, do not kill the queen. Uh, he seems genuine enough to the point where, you know, it's like, eh, I'll trust him. Eh, it's fine. Steal your stuff. Go down further into the rabbit hole. Or the ant hole. It's the same, same thing. 